Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Dr. Francis Duke from Zen Graphene. How are you today? I'm well, Tracy. Thanks for having me today. Well, let's start by congratulating you. You just have announced that you're going to be opening a Guelph facility uh, on March, in March uh, 3rd, is that correct? Right during That's PDAC? Correct. Absolutely. We're here on at PDAC, actually Sunday, Monday, as we traditionally are, and we've got our whole team down here, so we thought we'd combine everything and uh, have our grand opening at the same time. Well, I, I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to surprise you here with questions, but what I'd really like to draw the Investor Intel audience's attention to is really the spectrum for evaluation. Your stock price, the opportunity that currently exists, the price of graphene, and how lucrative it can be for shareholders that get in at the right time with the right graphene company. <laughs> Well, the graphene market right now is something that's been really uh, getting a big move on since Ford jumped into the game and started using graphene. Everybody else is starting to jump on board as well. So it's creating a real opportunity for us. Um, there's also a lot of research going on where you're seeing graphene being sold uh, in the universities and research centers for a fair amount of dollars uh, compared to what it would be on an industrial basis. So we're doing two things here. We're starting to get our um, material out in the universities, in the research arena. Uh, there's industrial partnerships available out there for us. We can get some revenue out there. It's a proof of concept. We've been saying for a long time that we've got the best material out there. This is a chance for us to finally prove it. So we're very excited about that. But it's also an opportunity to start making connections with companies that could become customers for us for decades. And that's where the real opportunity is, and that's why we're so excited to have this center up and running. So let's just jump right into it then. With regards to these agreements that you're talking about, there's three different universities that you've got deals in play with. Would you like to give us the highlights of what those deals look like? Yeah, again, from our perspective, we can get the graphite to 99.8. We've done that. Uh, we can do it uh, at a pilot scale level. Now we need to take that very high-end graphite and turn it into graphene. And we're working with some of the best teams in Canada, you know, a bunch of different universities to do those things. The first agreement that we signed was with uh, a university in Canada, that, uh, unfortunately we can't name, um, but th that agreement is to put in place to do graphene production. So this process uses heat, uh, pressure, and, and a uh, grinding effect, if you will, or a shearing effect to break the graphite into smaller bits and pieces, uh, basically bringing it down to a five to 10 layer graphene. So that one's very exciting. It's done. We can do kil uh, kilograms of this material already because the process is patented and developed. We're going to keep trying to improve on it, but it's already a very well-established patent. The next one is with Dr. Chen at the Guelph University. They're working on two different processes, a chemical process and a electrochemical exfoliation process where we're trying to make elect, uh, graphene oxide. This product is really the high end. We're getting down to one, two, three layer products here. It's functionalized with oxygen groups in there. So this is the kind of stuff that will you know, uh, have a, a very high value in the marketplace, both in the universities and in the uh, in industry. And then the third one is with uh, UBCO, University of British Columbia at the Okanagan Valley. We've got a lot of different research with them. We're doing graphene oxide. We're also doing graphene quantum dots, which is really the very high end stuff. This stuff right now sells for $4,000 a gram on, on the marketplace for research. Um, they're also doing uh, things with uh, batteries, with aluminum, with coatings. Uh, they're, they're really doing a lot of different things for us. Um, so we're really happy to work with them. And what we put in place with them is a template of what an IP agreement would look like. And depending on what comes out of their research arena in terms of patents, we already have a template on how we're going to move forward with them. So all those things are in place, ready for us to move uh, aggressively once we have um, everything uh, figured out, basically. Dr. Dube, with regards to this new Guelph facility that you're going to be uh, you know, launching here shortly, you're going to be producing uh, you, a small scale amount of graphene almost immediately. Is that correct? 
That's correct. So we've already bought some of the equipment. Some of it's already been delivered. Other is still coming. Um, we're going to process. We've got 110 kilograms of material already there. That's at 86% concentrate. We're going to process that to a high-end graphite concentrate, 99.8%. And then we're going to take that into various processes to make graphene, graphene oxide, um, and graphene quantum dots. Um, these, pros, these products will be um, put on our website. We're starting a web store that'll be out by the end of the month. So a lot of exciting things happening right now for us. Uh, and you're going to see new products uh, come on to our web store throughout the year. But the first one will be some graphene oxide that we've already been producing. Uh, we've got a bit of an inventory built up. So that'll be our first product we're going to bring to uh, the market. So very excited about that. For our audience out there that may be new to graphene, they may not appreciate how competitive you are in aerospace, military applications, and automotive, of course, and how you really don't need a lot of graphene to make a lot of money. Can you just talk briefly about this? Um, I'll talk about stuff that's in the public domain. It's a little easier for me. Uh, but if you look at Ford, for example, um, they came out with using under 0.5% load in their polyurethane foam and created a polyurethane foam that was 20% stronger, 30% better heat dissipation, 17% better uh, soundproofing. So all these things were done with a very small amount of material. And that's what creates a really strong um, business case for us. When you look at the graphene prices out there right now, um, you know, on the research side, yeah, you're going to spend $100, $500 per gram. When we get to industry, this stuff's got to come down to $3, $1, maybe lower. But at a dollar a gram, you're talking about a million dollars a ton for us. When you look at our PEA, we were talking about $7,500 a ton to sell our graphite. Now we're talking applications where we could potentially get a million dollars per ton based on the graphene pricing out there. Um, it, it's an incredible jump forward. Of course, your costs come in as well. You have increased costs, but um, the opportunity is absolutely massive in front of us. We're very excited about the space. Uh, it's predicted to be about a $5 billion market by 2030 by a Canaccord report. Um, the graphene quantum dot or the quantum dot market in general is predicted to be a $30 billion market by 2030. So these are absolutely big markets that are growing leaps and bounds right now. And we're basically right at the beginning of that. We've got the best source material in the world to do this. And we've got a great team of scientists around us. So we're really in a unique position to dominate this market. So Dr. Dubay, with all of this good news, I dare I even ask what should shareholders should anticipate in this upcoming quarter? Well, uh, the big thing is the web store coming up, the webs, uh, the the, uh, the new facility in Guelph up and running. You're going to see new products coming online. Um, we're hoping to uh, keep building on the relationships that we've got going with the universities. Uh, we're working with a lot of end users at all, uh, as well right now. So there might be some new relationships uh, announced and maybe some contracts over the next year. Um, those are all things that uh, we're gearing up for. We're also continuing the baseline studies at the deposit where we're moving things along as quickly as we can so that we can get to mining uh, as quick as we can. If things go uh, as we plan by the mid to late 2021, uh, we'll be fully permitted to move forward on the mining side of things. Thank you so much for joining us again today. It was a pleasure to, a pleasure to speak to you. Thank you.